Learning new details about the planning of the attack, CBS News has reviewed more than 600 pages of messages the alleged gunman is believed have written on the social media platform Discord. The accused shooter has pleaded not guilty. Jeff Pegues has the story. Messages on Discord dating back more than five months appear to show the suspected shooter's plot to kill as many black people as he could. In a December post, he promised to carry out an attack against those he slurred as replacers. A month later, he uploaded a picture of an assault rifle he allegedly bought at this store and used in Saturday's racist killing spree. By early March, the alleged gunman identified the top supermarket as attack area one, where he planned to shoot all blacks. Later that month, posts show that he scoped it out in person and uploaded hand-drawn maps of the grocery store. Discord says that it has an internal team that works to identify and remove extremist content like hate speech and threats of violence. But the platform has around 150 million monthly users. It would have been very difficult for anyone outside of his direct community to find or interact with his posts. CBS News technology reporter Dan Patterson says part of Discord's appeal is that it offers users privacy. The alleged shooter seemed to take advantage of that. According to a spokesman for Discord, he was posting to a private invite-only channel. A small group was ultimately invited to it just half an hour before the shooting began. In order for law enforcement to see content in a site like Discord or even private Facebook groups, they would have to be in that group at a particular time. Not only are there legal prohibitions, there's the practicality of saying, how do we collect that? Retired FBI agent Catherine Schweit used to run the agency's active shooter program. She compares finding hateful posts online to searching for a grain of sand at the beach. Unless the American people get their head out of the sand and find a way to be aware of their children, their neighbors, and their coworkers, we're never going to solve this problem. The Discord spokesperson told us the company is doing everything it can to help law enforcement in this investigation. The company also said that there is no place for hate on the platform. Gail. There's no place for hate anywhere, actually. Thank you very much, Jeff.